there's a new study that is giving hope to those trying to start a family. It could mean more affordable IVF treatments. ABC's chief women's health correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashton, is joining us now from the American Society for Reproductive Medicine Conference in Utah. I know, Jen, you are very excited about being there, and, and thanks for joining us this morning. I know you have a, a, a jam-packed schedule, but can you tell us about what this study is all about? Yeah, Robin, so really exciting stuff coming out of Salt Lake City in this meeting. One of the major themes of this year's conference, affordability for infertility treatments. This particular study comes out of USC, University of Southern California. They looked at women 35 years of age and younger with good prognosis for fertility treatments and treated them with, with what's called modified natural cycle IVF. So that's basically three days of medications instead of two weeks of medications. And they found they did pretty well they had a good live birth outcome and they saved over $7,200 per live birth. This is significant because we know that IVF is expensive. It's still expensive with this, but it's a step in the right direction. And about one in four U.S. couples struggling with infertility cannot afford the medical treatments they need to achieve a pregnancy. So this is kind of less is more, mm. very encouraging news. And so with the less is more, less medication, easier on the body? I think it's easier on the body, it's easier on the mood and the mindset, it's easier on the bank account. I mean, all of those things matter, potentially lower complication rate of something called hyperstimulation. But again, it's not for every infertility patient. These are for women under the age of 35, but you're starting to see this trend of infertility specialists trying everything they can to lower costs because they want this to be more affordable to more people. And Jen, what are you also excited about this conference that you're going be hearing. Well, so Robin, this is arguably the biggest infertility and fertility conference in the world. There are more than 4,000 experts here from all over the country and the world, and they hit every aspect of reproductive medicine. So affordability is a big thing this year. Um, genetic advances, huge, always important advances in male factor infertility, the mental health aspect of patients dealing with fertility issues and polycystic ovarian syndrome, and so much more. I'm going to be trying to see and learn as mm -hmm. much as I can today. I feel like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> well, thanks for being our eyes and ears there and, and bringing back all that great info for us. Thank you, Jen. You, you bet, take Robin. care. Have a good time. Dr. Ashton will be answering your questions on Twitter.